welcome to the art stream where we are creating pieces like this, acrylics on canvas uh, or a canvas bag. We're also creating pieces like this, like this, and like this. So we are working right now with acrylics. Maybe in future streams, we'll also work with um, oil paints. But this is what we are doing right now. So today I want to finish off the detailing on stitch, but also the the rest of the bag as well. So there's some slight detailing I need to do on the face to just finish off the front. And then we have to see what color we're gonna do here with the strap. And what we're doing with the back, are we kind of leaving it blank? Uh, my other idea, I've done it with some of my other bags, is like kind of like a graffiti type of thing. But I don't know if I even want to do that on the back. I usually only do that on the front of um, art. But right now, I'm kind of gearing towards more just a color for the straps and see if I want to paint this. I know that if I add color to this, it's going to change like the texture of the strap. So I'm trying to figure out if that is something I'm gonna do or not, but thank you guys so much for being here. Hit that like button for me if you enjoy my streams or my art. I really appreciate everyone being here, everyone that's gonna be watching in replay. Thank you so much for being here. My name is Nicole. I do a lot of art on this channel, cooking streams. I may even do some cooking on this stream just because like of like the time that I'm on this. So I may end up like turning the camera and doing like cooking at the same time. So uh, thank you so much all for being here. Um, if you're new, I'd like to hear it. If you're new, please uh, subscribe to my channel. Uh, anyone watching on replay, please subscribe. And if you subscribe, hit that bell. That way you know when I am coming on. Uh, because for my vlogs, I do, I kind of try to schedule them, but I do come on quite random. I also do fashion, like collectible type stuff on this channel. So yeah, subscribe and hit the bell. And I really appreciate you all being here. Thank you so much. I appreciate the support. It's a crazy time period that we are all in right now. So uh, hopefully watching some art videos and different stuff like this can bring you some happiness. And for me, I have always really loved art. Art has always really helped me personally with anxiety or stress or anything like that. And I know that's something pretty much everyone is experiencing now in the world, um, regardless of, you know, if you're someone who usually has that. So um, for me, art is something that I have always enjoyed. And thank you so much all for being here. Uh, I mentioned this in my other streams. If I wasn't doing um, YouTube or streaming this, I sincerely would be doing art anyhow. So thank you so much all for being here and being part of the art channel, you guys. A lot of times when you guys are in chat or you give me advice on, um, many of the viewers have actually given me really good advice on how to, you know, what colors to use in different places or things like that. So. I really appreciate your input when you are in chat. Uh, many of you are artists your, yourselves or have taken art courses or something like that, or at least appreciate art because that's why you're here. But um, some of you have been giving me some really great advice on um, you know, color or different things to do in different parts of it. So I'm really enjoying the interactions that have been coming from these streams as well so thank you once again everyone who is here uh if you're here like you know share it out i have really no idea what that even means share it out but share it out subscribe if you're new watching on replay and thank you all for being here okay so i'm just mixing this um kind of like a light lime green color i'm going to be using this on uh the straps I kind of want it to be kind of light. So we have this front area, which just has a lot going on. We were able to get the stitch really popping and very, very vibrant. I did, I went back and I went over that outline area of the stitch like three times. And then upon like the third time, now I think it's really starting to pop. Hello, Bryce, how are you? How is everything going? Welcome on into the chat. Yeah, the stitch is really coming out quite vibrant now. 
I went, um, I did like a third outline on the stitch. That was from yesterday's art stream. Thank you. Yeah, I'm, I come on usually about 6 p.m. U.S. Eastern time. So I'm in Florida in the United States. So I come on about 6 p.m. Eastern time here. But we're working on, we don't have that much more, I think, for the front of the bag. We have, um, I'd like to just add a drop of detail. I forgot some details on his face and the eyebrow area. So I'm just going to like fix that today, but I'm also going to, to paint the straps and then we'll see what we're doing with this. I normally probably maybe would have continued with this, but I don't even have that much of that color left and I don't want to end up in a situation where I actually am lacking enough color to finish it. That can happen. Um, it was a weird color. It was this color. And I was going to go like rebuy this, but they actually were like out of stock on this color. So it's a really nice color too. It's like this aqua green color. They're the head actors of Queen of the Summer. That's cool. Yeah, I mean they do a lot of um, not like a super amount. Um, I feel like obviously there's a lot more of the industry in New York and LA, but um, occasionally you'll see like filming here and stuff like that for sure. You know, the scenery here is very nice for that type of stuff, especially if it's anything in film that has to do with, like, the beach or anything like that. So occasionally we get that. Um, not a huge amount, actually. There's not, like, a huge, huge amount of that happening here. But every once in a while, maybe, like, two times a year or something, you'll see, you know, the film industry. I'm trying to mix a color that I'm going to be happy with or the back part of the bag with the two straps that are down the center of the bag. So let me show you guys. I'm just mixing it. Um, I'm trying to keep in mind like, um, you know, as the paint dries, it kind of changes the texture of the bag. I don't know. So there's so much going on in the front. It's very vibrant. And then with keeping in mind, logically, if someone were actually to wear this, it's going to be like this. So other than painting the back of it in the sense of like not keeping it the original color that it came with, but to paint it just to feel like it's a finished product, we made it this kind of like just like a light blue sky color. But I'm thinking that the straps is probably going to be like a green color. But I'm trying to uh, take this solvent here and kind of try to um, lighten the density of it. So I'm just mixing right now a very light, kind of light, like a light green color. I'm just kind of mixing it all together. So I've mixed that together. Uh, the straps could be a leaf green. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. So I'm just gonna mix my brush in here. Got a lot of product on here. Okay, let me check how Signal is doing. We have two bars. I mean, I prefer to have three bars because I think it works better when I have three bars. But what can you do? It's kind of like a vibrant green color. You can always add like some different colors to it, maybe. We'll see. We shall see. Do, 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 do. 
So I was watching all these Disney streams. I always watch Disney streams, but um, I think it's so fitting that like I'm always doing art and I love Disney. So I didn't even know they had this. They have a, um, we're craving Starbucks. Did I ever get Starbucks? No, which makes me sad. I have um, regular coffee uh, in my house. So I've just been drinking that, but um, I kind of just want to go to Starbucks or like have Starbucks delivered, honestly. Um, yeah, I haven't been to Starbucks in a while. I went, I have been like since the pandemic, but not like a huge amount. But now I want Starbucks. I want Starbucks. It was such a fun activity. It's one of my favorite places. I always joke that Starbucks at Disney, back to Disney. <laughs> I always joke that Starbucks at Disney is like my favorite attraction. If someone's like, what's your favorite ride at Disney? I'd be like Starbucks. You can go on the line that's like super long to go on the roller coaster. I'll be at Starbucks. Because it's cool. It's Starbucks at Disney. It's fun. So right now at Disney, they have something called um, Festival of the Arts. It's pretty cool. The stuff there. The stuff there. Yeah, everything is super expensive. Um, even even uh, Starbucks, I think, is a little bit more there. Um, so right now in Disney, they have something um, in Epcot, which is one of their parks there. They have something there called Festival of the Arts. So it's a kind of like an art fair where um, Disney artists or people who paint Disney type stuff are there showing um, their art and partner with Disney. So that's really cool. So there's all these art kiosks there that people are walking around there right now in Disney. And you can see like all these really awesome art exhibits that are there. There's this artist, I think, I think her name, her last name is Gilbert. She's really cool. What is something that you did that had a huge positive impact? Welcome, Gert. Welcome on into the chat. Welcome, welcome. Where are you watching from, Gert? Where are you watching from? And what time is it there? That's like the first thing I ask people after welcoming, welcoming them on in. I would have to say, guys, something super positive that I did. And I think that's something I recommend everyone to kind of like think about. Like with everything that's going on right now, it's it's so easy to kind of fall into like the negativity, but you know, be positive or at least try and think about things that have improved or gone well for you. Well, you want to just reply to sure. Maybe Bryce, um, as far as answering Gert's question, um, I mean, I started YouTube, um, during this time period, it was something I've always wanted to do. Um, and then when I started YouTube, I kind of started to like find myself in a sense, like, um, what do I want to do on YouTube? What are things that I'm passionate about? What are things I'm good at? So that process has been really fun for me. I've really, really, really been enjoying this. I wasn't sure that I would like, you know, the concept of streaming at first. It sounded very like nerve wracking to me, but, um, I'm really enjoying the concept of streaming and getting to talk to you guys and chat with you guys as I create art. It's such a fun thing for me. Yeah, I hope so. We're getting there slowly, guys. And you guys are all helping me. Just by being here, by watching, by hitting the like button, all of that is helping me so much. And I really, really appreciate you guys all being here. I really mean it when I say I couldn't do it without you because if you weren't watching, it would make it super awkward. I know, right? One more to 320, right? But I really mean that because, like, if you guys weren't here and watching, I'd be like, you know, there would be no one or it'd be more awkward. But I really appreciate the effort from you guys. So, like, share it out. I really don't know what that means to share it out. I guess it means like posting it on social media. I have no idea. But share it out. If you know anyone who would like my channel or this type of stuff, like, 
please do tell them about it. I do art on this channel. But yeah, I'm really enjoying this. Um, to your question, Bryce, uh, what I do uh, like Disney art, I think that would be super fun. I don't even know how that works. Um, some of them appear to be like a kiosk type of thing, if that makes sense. Like, I think that you can, I think that you can apply to like rent out a kiosk there or something like that. Oh, cool. I didn't even know what that meant. Seriously. I see the, sh the thing that says like share and it's like, I don't even understand what that means. Like, so I'm not that super great with technology. <laughs> I'm learning just by being on YouTube. But that, I think what happens is they rent a kiosk or some of them are like more featured artists. Like I, some of the names that you'll see that are like Disney artists in the park or you'll go into like their, even when they don't have what's called Festival of the Arts, they have some art stores that are always at Disney that feature kind of like well-known Disney artists. Oh, cool. So I think that they're applying in some way with Disney. I don't know if they're actually like applying or it's the type of thing that I think once you're a little bit more well known, maybe even Disney contacts you, but it's kind of like, it seems like almost like it's like a joint effort with them. Like I would assume, obviously, you know, it's a, it's a collaboration between them. So, I mean, it's really cool. Um, I didn't even know this. I think it's a little bit unusual. I didn't know this, but one of the artists that they feature at the exhibit, will there be a dark green leaf color going? I think that would be a cool idea, Bryce, for sure. Let's, we can do that. Let's let the light green color dry, but I think it dries pretty fast, so we can do that. Um, there's an artist at, um, the Festival of the Arts, which is an art exhibit right now at Epcot. There's a specific artist. It's a woman who uh, paints scenes from um, acrylics. I use acrylics. Liquitex Basics Acrylic Paint. I've also used oils in the past. Um, I actually have not. This is the same exact thing. It's just a different bottle, basically. Uh, Liquitex um, Basics Acrylics. And I have like a lot of these in the background. They're all in the background. And then what this is, this is a clear liquid that you mix into the acrylic paint. And when you mix this into the acrylic paint, it makes it more suitable for fabric. Oh, awesome. Yeah, I really like them. They're really good paints. Um, you know, when you go to an art store, you'll see paints that are, um, like more expensive paints, you know, but I really don't think that that's, that's necessary. Uh, you know, if, if someone wants to invest in that, that's fine. But like, there are, um, I think they're really good paints. I think that you, uh, I have found that they they work really well, so... And they're pretty affordable, at least where, where I am located. Like, they always go on sale in my area and stuff like that. Yeah, the clear paint, when you mix it in, makes the um, texture of the acrylics a little bit lighter. Um, and it also slows the drying time. So acrylics tend to dry pretty fast, as you're aware. And um, when you mix that in... It helps to slow the drying time, which helps for blending. And it also helps the, you know, the appearance of paint on fabric and allows you to work with them a little bit more. So I have that mixed in right now, actually. So I do have that clear liquid mixed in to the paint because I'm trying to change that density a little bit. No problem. Yeah, this is what it looks like. It's called Liquitex Professional Slow Dry Blending Medium. So this is what it looks like. I've had this bottle for quite a long time. But um, I don't know about how I would feel mixing it 
I guess if you wanted to have a very sheer finish, you could mix it in and work with it on regular canvas, like regular paper or canvas, but it's going to thin out the paint. I guess it would depend on the effect you're trying to, to create. But if you're working with fabric, the fabric obviously is going to become pretty saturated from the paint. So you're trying to make it not basically destroy what you're working. Yeah, it's a long, yeah, for sure. Especially if you're going to be like blending or doing a lot of like blending work or something like that, for sure. But um, this art festival sounds super interesting with Disney. Just because you could walk around and they were showing like there was this mural. Um, I want to finish this project. I also want to finish up the detail of the backpack here. We have to finish off Baby Yoda's face a little bit. Believe it or not, we actually didn't finish that. Um, we have a few projects. Like I have like Converse shoes I want to paint. Uh, those are brand new to paint. I also have a sketch uh, sketched out of Baby Yoda. Uh, we could also try doing a abstract piece that's not uh, specifically um, character, if that makes sense. Like we could just try to do like an abstract piece. So we have a couple of options and I have like all like the canvas and supplies ready to go. I hope so too. I think we can. I think we can for sure. I mean... We're doing the straps right now, which is going pretty quickly. So, I mean, I really think that we're going to finish this one today. This is already drying, I can tell, uh, which is good. Um, but they have this mural at Disney because of Festival of the Arts where um, it's free and basically you can if you're in the park, you can participate in a mural that's, like, you can't, like, do whatever you want. Um, you should honestly do vlogs. I do vlogs. Um, I do, I don't do vlogs only, but I do have vlogs up on my channel, too. Yeah, I know. Um, right now, um, it's a little difficult right now because of what the restrictions are in Miami. Um, you know, if, if, you know, things had never happened here in Miami, I would be able to like go out and do a blog, like from like an art place or different things like that right now. But because of the restrictions, it's a little, it's not like restrictions in this, like we actually are able to go out, but a lot of things here aren't open still, or things just aren't really like functioning well here. So, I still have to be like, you know, cautious about where I go right now. Um, but that's something that I definitely look forward to doing in the future. Like actually like going to different venues and stuff like that. Um, I'm hoping that that can be more of a reality come. Yeah, for sure. And it's, it's frustrating for sure. Especially with the thought process. Like, just like you said, I started YouTube and you would think I could do all these cool things and go to these places. So it's just, you know, some weird timing. But um, what's funny is maybe by the time I actually start to do some of that stuff, I'll actually have the ability to stream from my phone. So that would be cool. Because, like, one of the things I wanted to do once I have the ability to stream from my phone is I want to actually be able to show you guys like South Beach and the different art areas and stuff like that. So that would be really fun. The whole strap with the green. Um, are you talking about the main strap? Are you talking about this? Are you talking about this? Or are you talking about the one I'm working on right now? Because this is already almost green. the the main strap i don't know what do you guys think do you think i should paint like do you think it should be painted yeah do you think that um 
do you think that the main strap should be painted or do you think it should be it's fine yeah that's what i i've been wondering i'm almost like when you put paint on a bag like this it's definitely um altering the fabric and i'm actually wondering I'm wondering if because I'm dealing with the strap, I should actually not do anything there. The strap is something that's actually going to be the most, um, I think, affected area, if that makes sense. The strap is something that's going to be like, you know, rubbing a jacket or something like that. So I don't know how that's honestly going to look with paint on it. The thing about these straps that I'm working right now is that because this bag has this strap, yeah, you need 1,000. Luckily, it's not, luckily, it's not 10,000, Bryce. Luckily, it's not 10,000. No, it's 1,000. So the requirement is 1,000 to stream from my phone. So as soon as I do have that ability, I'm, for sure going to do things like show you like South Beach and stuff like that. I mean, I could go down there right now and film a vlog and I'll probably do that anyhow, but I want to be able to show you guys in like a stream, like actually what's going down there. Very cool. Yeah. Um, once I, have that ability I'll for sure show you guys different things I mean I can like go to like different like boardwalk areas and stuff like that I mean I could do that now and do a vlog I think what I'll end up doing is as soon as I have the ability to do that I'll kind of be able to do like a two-in-one type of thing so like I can like let's say I was going to stream for three hours or something like that I could stream and then once I'm done streaming I could go then and get some footage that I like and actually make a vlog out of that footage. You know what I mean? Like stream a little bit and then kind of use the rest of the time that I'm somewhere to collect footage in order to do a vlog. I know, right? He'll probably like come in and like, I don't know, towards seven, I'm thinking. Like, I don't know. I forget the different time zones everyone's in. So, you know. But it's all good. I appreciate whenever you guys, whenever you guys have the time to pop in and say hello. I definitely really appreciate it. You know, whenever it is for as, as long as you are able to stay, I always appreciate you guys popping in to say hello. Even if it's for a short amount of time, I always, it, it's always very encouraging for me to know that you guys are stopping by to say hello. So I've got it green. I'm actually getting it on the bag, but that's okay. Like it's getting on the part that's blue. It's okay because in reality it's being painted. So that is the reality. Yes, the bottom is blue also. I have a darker green color. Hey, Dream, how are you? Howdy, welcome on in. Hi, Dream. Okay. So we got this green. And then I crashed. Welcome, Dream. Let me see what's going on with the signal, guys. Is the signal okay?
Is the signal okay, Bryce? I don't know what's going on. It's fine. Yeah, so I don't know. That wasn't my doing. Okay, so if the signals, why? I don't know, Dream. Are you deleting it? Because it's, it's not me. I don't know. You're not doing it? Yeah, literally look at me. I am not doing it. Okay, so don't do anything. Dream, don't touch anything. Yeah, Dream, we don't have... Dream, I don't know if you can hear me. I don't have mods on right now. Like, I haven't chosen any mods yet, so it's not me. Like, literally, it's not me. Dream, can you... Dream, can you, like, close out and then come back in? Maybe refresh your browser or something? Bye, Dream. I have no idea what's happening. I have no idea. All I can tell you, I have no idea. All I've, I've heard of this happening, I was watching someone stream from a Disney stream, and there was a viewer that was saying that they were having a problem similar to this, except it wasn't letting them comment at all. Like it wasn't letting them comment at all, and they had to, to use a different account to comment so I have no idea guys it's literally not me I am literally over here it's I promise you it's not me all I can think is like it's just some weird YouTube glitch honestly it could be just a YouTube yeah guys it's probably just a YouTube glitch it's something that happens every once in a while I've had my own glitches with YouTube and they usually correct themselves if you Google like this type of stuff, it usually corrects itself within a day or something. So, I mean, Dream, you are still popping up. Like, I can see your name. So you're not like blocked from commenting because your name, your name Dream is actually awesome. Your Dream, your name is actually, your name is popping up. So... You're able to comment, if that makes sense. Like, you're not blocked from commenting. So I have no idea what that is. It, it's a YouTube glitch that will correct itself. That's all I can say. Yeah, he's not blocked. It's, it's a YouTube weird glitch. Those are the types of things that, you know, I don't even have the ability to chat with them right now because I'm not at 1,000 yet. So, um you know, they, they offer like a customer. Yeah, they offer a customer support thing eventually to creators, but just not right now. So hopefully it'll work itself out. Okay, so we've painted this green, but I agree with what you said, Bryce, about um, probably not painting the strap, like the main, main, uh, bag strap I think um, okay I'm here no worries but this bag strap I mean if I were to paint this if I were to paint this strap my concern with that is that it's really going to change the structure of the bag. Like, uh oh, I was just going to put it on. But um, I don't want to change the density of this strap, I'm thinking. It's enough that I've painted the, the handles of the bag. But the good thing about this is that if I'm wearing it by the strap, I'm not going to, in reality, be using the handles. But the next thing I need to do is I actually need to paint the inner part of this because I painted the other one. 
that's one of the last things I need to do as far as the strap goes. So let's just finish, oops, let's just finish off the strap. So we're just painting the inner part of the strap here just because of, of the handle. I mean, we're, we're probably not going to paint the main um, strap just because it's probably going to be too much for the bag's structure. Like, I don't want to, like, change the density that much. Uh, like, it's just going to be weird as a strap. Like, I think it's, like, the paint on it is going to make it weird to wear. So I'd rather have the majority of the paint an area that I actually don't touch. So that will help in terms of wearability. That's awesome. Yeah, I mean, that's very inspiring, I think, to hear those stories for sure. I mean, to hear that a channel can go from, you know, a little channel to a big channel is so inspiring and I think it's so cool that um, YouTube gives you this platform to be able to do these things. Um, you know, that something like this exists. It's really, um, there was a good quote that I came across from someone who was giving YouTube advice and like how to grow on YouTube. Uh, they gave really, really good advice. What they said was like, all the subscribers and viewers are out there waiting for you. Like they exist. Like they literally exist. They're waiting for you. It's just a matter of you creating the type of content that, you know, someone wants to see. So um, I thought that was a very like empowering way to look at it. Like platform is there. Platform exists. There's people out there that are interested in art and different things in my particular case. So, you know, um, you just got to start people. It's kind of like one of the, cause everyone's looking like for like, how do I, you know, how do I grow? It's like one of the best advice I could give to people is just start. Just start. You got to start somewhere, right guys? And with everything, you got to start somewhere. And now he does that and he becomes so popular. That's awesome. And, um, I mean, as far as streams, I really enjoy watching the Disney ones. Obviously, we all know I'm obsessed with Disney at this point um, because I'm not going there right now because of what's happening. So when I watch a Disney stream, it makes me super happy because it's like I'm there. It's like I'm walking around the theme park. So I love watching those. Um, I haven't watched any of them, but I know there's some channels where they show like walking around New York and different places. Um, so that's super fun. You know, where they show themselves walking around um, Manhattan and different things like that. So um, there's some interesting streamers out there for sure. I've seen cooking ones like I've done cooking, but like I've seen other people's cooking videos and stuff like that. And they're just fun. And I kind of got into that idea because of, you know, what's going on right now. It was a way to interact with people. You never know, Bryce. You never know. That would be super cool to happen one day for sure. You never know. I've done cooking streams before. I haven't done them a lot lately. Um, I've done, um, I did one the other day and I used to do a lot of them actually before I even started doing art ones. So, um, what's funny is I may even get hungry on this stream. So it's possible. Like at some point I even like turn the, the computer and like cook something just because like the, that I'm streaming, you know, at a time that's kind of like technically dinner and I ran out of TV dinners. So at some point I may actually turn the computer 
to cook um, chicken, basically. I may at some point actually be cooking chicken, guys. So um, this may actually turn into a art cooking stream because um, I'm just painting the edge here of the strap. I'm still on the main strap. No, I'm not on the, um, the strap of the bag. I'm literally just painting. Um, I'm just finishing up some of the edges here, kind of smoothing out some of the paint so that it dries a little bit easier. Let's see, I got a lot of paint. So let me figure out how I can. I'm going to take this rag here and I'm going to put the rag in the bag to try to help it dry. Um, I got paint on the other strap. Of course I did. Yeah, I know. This is why I can't ever have a manicure. Okay, so I just put the rag in between the bag. That way it will um, help it not get paint on the other part. So um, this is drying. It's almost dry, actually, believe it or not. <laughs> okay, so this has been painted. I don't even know how to do that. Like I've heard about that. It's like a, I think it's like a blog or a chat. I think that's done through YouTube. Let me, um, I should do that though. I've heard about that. Let me just wash my hands real quick. I'm literally just washing the paint off. Give me one second. Yeah, I, I recently heard about that from another, um, I, I saw it on another YouTuber's channel and I was wondering what that was because they were always talking about that. I think I need to do something to set that up. But thank you, Bryce, for telling, reminding me about that. I will um, look into how to set that up. So I'm just letting this dry. I think it's drying. Um we can add in like a green. Were you saying like to add in like leaves? Like to add in like green leaves on the on the straps? Is that what you were, were saying to do? Like branches on the green part, like leaves? Leaves. Like leaves that would extend from, would the leaves, would the leaves be only on this part or would they be here too? Would they be only on the light green part or on the blue part too? I'm just going to heat up some water for a soup real quick. Only on the strap. Okay, I can try to do that. Let me just heat up some water. Yeah, I need to I need to clean my house first for sure. 
I need to clean and organize my house. It's kind of like what I'm in process of doing. It's, I actually have like a lot of boxes and stuff I have to go through. So that's why it's kind of like this organization happening. It wasn't that long ago that I made a art area here. Like this area had like other stuff and then I was able to make like art on the wall and stuff like that. So let's see about leaves. I'm trying to figure out leaves. Do you mean like cartoon leaves or do you mean do you mean leaves that look like these? Like leaves that look like this? Like we have on the front? Like leaves like that? In other words, it's a small area, the green, you know what I mean? The green strap area is a small green area. It's not super big, you know what I mean? So. I'm just trying, you could add in a few like palm tree leaves that kind of go in different directions. Like they would just be like, you know, almost at like different angles. Um, with this type of paint, I think that the palm trees is the only ones I could really do. Um, I don't know how I would create like a cartoony looking one. The one that looks like the front. but only on the green, not where it goes on to the blue part, like literally only on, only on the green part. A little on the blue part. Animator pen. Because the blue is dry. Okay. Just gonna add something to my soup real quick. Let me see.
So I've drawn in some preliminary areas for leaves. Those little lines that I just created are areas where a leaf could be drawn in. But always tone it down if we don't like it because it's just like the blue area. But um, we're gonna try to do some leaf stuff. So I'm gonna try to bend this a little bit. And I'm also gonna try to Welcome back. Gonna just start to paint in some leaves. The thing it was with art, I can't, you know what I mean? Mixing the colors. Yeah. I don't know what something's gonna look like until I just kind of start with it. If we don't like it, then it's okay. We're just learning from the process. I actually like it. Yeah, we need to mix the colors. We need to um, kind of make some different greens and stuff. So we're going to just start to gently make some leaf designs. And right now what we're doing is we're not like getting into the detail yet. We're just kind of like sketching in kind of where we want things to go. With leaves, like I'm doing right now, it's kind of like the weirdest. You just need to go fast. Like you just need to like, that's the only way you're going to make it look like a leaf. Yep, yep. We're making a lot of progress. And the internet is working. Woohoo! Those are all really good things. Internet is working. I shouldn't jinx it, right? I shouldn't say that. I'd be like, the internet's working, and then it stops working. That's what always happens. You're like, the internet's working. I actually like this. It reminds me like of a pattern of clothing or something. There's a lot of shirts that have like patterns. Like I know, do not jinx it. It is working. We have internet right now. I've actually seen clothing that has this pattern on it. This like green, like not necessarily like the leaves, but I've seen clothing that has like this pattern to it. Like where it's like color and then there's like random like leaves or something coming out. Yeah, but I think this was a great idea. I don't know if you like it, but I really do like it so far. I think this was a really great idea. Like to um, add in some leaves and not leave it so, you know, boring in the back. In reality, it wouldn't match because the front has got a lot going on. So we kind of do need to add something here. For sure. Hawaiian bag, for sure. Well, I'm so happy that you like it. Yeah, it looks like a Hawaiian beach bag that you would buy, you know, in the store. Like, you know, the ones that they sell at, like, stores that are, like, made for the beach, that type of stuff. Oh, we missed a leaf. There's a leaf over here. And then I'll try to hold it up for you guys. Uh, I need to wait till this handle dries because I've got paint there. That's why it's kind of like at this angle. Is that even? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Where do you get plain white stuff? 
There should be options to sponsor. So that'll happen, Bryce, um, once I get monetized. So once I get 1,000 subscribers and YouTube also requires 4,000 watch hours. So 4,000 watch hours plus the 1,000 subscribers. I feel like it kind of goes hand in hand. I feel like once you get to that 1,000 mark, the watch time just becomes a lot easier to get because you have more viewers by then. Then you can get monetized. So at monetization, then you can get, you know, Google ads. Uh, then you get um, YouTube ads, like where ads play on the video. And then you have the ability then for people to donate through a video and stuff like that. But I don't want you guys to ever feel like you have to do that. You know what I mean? Even when I get, even when I get to that point, I don't want you guys ever to feel like you have to, you know, do that type of stuff. If you want to, you're welcome to, but you know, I'm making soup. I made soup. Papa noodles. Yeah, so that's the way it'll work when, um, I mean, I think they can technically run ads now, but when I reach a thousand subscribers, a cup of noodles, <laughs> when I get a thousand subscribers, um, um, and the 4,000 watch hours, which I think I've heard other people say that the hours came kind of easier once they had more subscribers, because obviously then you have more people watching. Um, but once you reach those two milestones, then you're able to, um, this is still really hot, so I'm gonna let this cool off. Then, um, you can get your videos monetized where you earn a little bit of money when someone clicks on the video, they'll see like a little ad and then, you know, they give me a very, 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 very small percentage of that, but you know, it adds up. So, um, that's, that's how YouTube works basically. <laughs> So it's fun and I think it's really cool that I think it's really cool that something like this even exists. There's not actually. A lot of people have wondered that actually. There is not. There is only a hundred thousand uh YouTube button. Welcome, Travis. <laughs> Was I right? I said Travis would be here at seven. I guess seven, but you actually are here sooner. There is actually only a hundred thousand YouTube button and then above. Then there's like ones for like millions of subscribers or something like that. But the first button is called the hundred thousand subscriber play button. So that's everyone's like dream. But you know what? When I get monetized, that will be for me, that'll be such an accomplishment in itself. Like to know that, to know that as a creator, I'm able to create something I really enjoy, that I'm able to make art and I actually enjoy what I'm doing and that I make making a tiny bit of money, like even if it's a tiny drop, like just the fact that I can know that I could potentially be doing something I love, I have passion for, I love art, I love streaming, I love making vlogs, to know that I could have that and then actually be making it into a living eventually is such a cool feeling. Yeah, it's a silver button. It's everyone's dream to eventually get there. Um, who knows, guys? Maybe one day we will get there. That will be a super cool feeling. We are currently doing leaps. But that will be a really cool feeling, guys, to like potentially look back on this video where I said how cool it would be to one day get a hundred thousand subscribers on YouTube and like to potentially like look back on this, like a year who knows from now and be like, look how far we have come. Do you remember when I said that? That would be a super cool feeling. You never know. So how far you can go. We are painting some leaves on the back. I'm going to try to show you. 
because the strap where my thumb is is wet. So I'm trying to show you while I'm letting that area dry. I will definitely not forget you guys. And I hope you guys will be here as we continue to grow. I am definitely very grateful. You never know, right? You never know. Maybe there's a lot of people out there that like art. Why not, right? Maybe there's a lot of, you know what? There are people out there that like art, you know? There's a lot of people out there that like art. So you never know. All the art fans, come on out. Watch my videos, you know? <laughs> and I made soup. It's cooling. I'm going to see how the soup is. Let me see if the soup is done. Like it's done, but it's cooling off, you know? It's possible, right guys? It's right, for sure. It's super hot. Art and noodles, right? Art and noodles. Time. I'm taking a noodle bite over here. It's still actually cooling off. Yeah, it's still a little hot. That's why I put it over there. I think cup of noodles also gets like super warm. Any soup obviously is warm, but I feel like cup of noodles gets like super warm. Like you have to actually like wait for it to like, any of them that are like, that's actually not called um, an art business for sure. They have like, you've heard of those sites like Etsy. And different things like that. I mean, and the other good thing about YouTube is like it helps like you literally get known in a sense. Hello, dream. Okay, so I can see howdy. It's not disappearing. Dream. Okay, so dream it's working now. I don't want to jinx it, but it's working. For sure. They're pretty affordable. Yeah, it's working. No, wait. Now it disappeared. I have no idea. Dream, it's probably a glitch. It's probably going to take a day for it to correct itself. I know, right? Dream, you have to, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm so happy you're watching, but it's probably a YouTube glitch that it probably will correct itself within like a day. That's usually how long it takes those things to correct. You get it, I'm getting another. We are working on this bag where we are painting the leaves on the back. Yeah, Dream, it's probably, it's probably a YouTube glitch. You're gonna probably, it'll probably get corrected within a day. No, Travis's are here. Travis's messages are here. No, Travis's messages are here. The only one I'm seeing it happen right now is Dream's messages. No, I see Travis's messages. Travis, you're here. 
Travis, I can see your messages. I can see Bryce's messages and I can see Travis's messages. Dream is having some type of YouTube glitch where it appears like the messages are getting retracted. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, guys. It is a YouTube glitch that has, yeah, I don't know. I'm going to get a bite of soup. Hold on. I'm not sure, guys. Let me check the signal. But I think the signal is fine. You okay? I got no idea, guys. Let's not jinx it for everyone, though. Right now, it's working. Right now, it is working. I mean, it's overall working. So, Dream, if you are still watching... I'm very happy to have you here. I hope that, yeah, thank you for telling me, Bryce. Yeah, I check on it every once in a while, but guys, let me know if it ever, like, lags really badly. Um, yeah, I know, but let's not say that, guys. That's not nice. Uh, don't jinx the connection as well. Yeah, I'm hoping it... Um, it just works out, guys. I'm sure it'll be fine. Let's just focus on the pretty art. Okay, so we're painting these leaves. On the back. Let me just get a bite of soup that is cooling off for me. Okay, guys, so let's look at the back. <clears throat> okay, so we came up with this really good idea. I think, do you guys think we should just keep it with the leaves? I'm going to add some more detail to the leaves. But how are we feeling about, how are we feeling about the blue part of the bag? Do we like the blue part? Do we feel like they're, like... You can add some texture to it. With I, I know how to do that with a technique. But right now we're working on leaves. I just wanted to add in some different colors. Okay, so let's see about just mixing in some different green color. I've got a light olive green color here. You could add more. Hmm. So let's brainstorm some ideas of what we could do. Um, I don't know if an ocean scene would make sense. You know, would an ocean scene make sense? Or that doesn't make sense because, I mean, we have the ocean on the other side. We also could just add like different colors to the to the bag. 
Uh, there's a way to do that. You could also use like cotton to try to add texture. I did that on the front part. Okay, guys, let's stay on focus of the bag. <laughs> it could be. I dream. A sky seam to match the front. I think that's a good idea. Bye, Dream. Thank you for being here. I'm sure your uh, commenting thing will work itself out. I'm sure it'll work out, Dream. Just give it. Those glitches usually fix themselves within a day. Dream, I'm sure it'll work out. Just give it a day. It'll probably correct itself, whatever it is. The YouTube system usually corrects those things in a day. I'm sure it'll be fine. Thank you for being here, Dream. We are also good for signal, guys. Everything's looking good. That would be cool to finish this project today. <laughs> well, we saw his messages at least, right? At least we saw them. At least we saw the messages. We're kind of able to see them before they disappear. Done after the leaves, yeah. The leaves, and then there is a small details that I have to fix on Stitch's face, birds. Uh, there's actually a drop of detail that I do have to fix on Stitch's face, but that won't take more than like 10 minutes to fix. You want birds. No birds, no birds, <laughs> no birds. <laughs> That sounds way too detailed, guys. Way too detailed. The internet stopped. Is it fine now? Guys, refresh your internet if it stopped. Refresh your internet. It is showing I have internet signal. If you are having internet issue, just refresh. Hopefully it will work then. Is internet okay now? Is the internet okay, guys, now? Okay, did I actually freeze or was it was it the lag symbol, like the circle thingy? Because on my end it's showing I have um, three bars. I'm just getting soup. I'm sorry I jinxed your internet. <laughs> I'm glad it's working now. <laughs> Okay. Can you at least draw a little M? You want like a little a little bird. 
that's drawn into the bag. We will see. We will see. We will see. Maybe. A symbolic bird. You would like drawn in. Is that correct? Okay, fine. We will draw. We will draw at least one symbolic small little tiny bird. For sure. It will make you guys happy. There will be a tiny little symbolic bird for you. Okay, so I'm just gonna wash this brush and I'm gonna use, yeah, you know what? I can use a brush. Okay, I'm gonna wash this brush and I'm gonna use this to make the, the bird. Give me one second while I wash the brush. Welcome back. Okay. Um, play games. I don't know how I would do that. I've thought, I've thought about doing that. Um, you kind of need some different technology to do um, streaming of games. In the future, maybe, as my channel starts to grow, I'll see about how, you know, I can get into that, maybe. Um, right now, I don't have the equipment for that type of stuff. Uh, but in the future, we'll see. We'll see for sure how exactly that works. Let me see about how I'm going to make a bird. Good mic and a good face cam if you do face cam live streams. Maybe in the future. Okay, so let's look at the let's look at um let's look at the um how we're gonna do a bird. I don't really know how. There is a symbolic bird. There you go. There you go. There is a little bird. I don't really know how I would do a bird. Give me one second, guys. Give me one second, guys.
dokie. I am back. I am back. So let's see. Um, we have the bird. So hmm. we have one bird. Um, I think, I think this is dry. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. That's what I'm thinking. Like, um, like the front. Like the way it was in the front, like with the, um, I'm trying to think how to do it. Um, hmm. Trying to think like clouds. More birds. We do one bird. We need smoky, like a smoky background. Um, hmm. I mean, on the front of the bag, we you we did like a with one bird. You want another one? Okay. Hmm. We can add texture with like, I used cotton on the front to add texture. It gave it kind of like, it gave it kind of like a, um, like a cloud effect. Huh. Like a cloud effect. I mean, I mean, I think that sounds good. We could add another bird. We could add another bird. Um, maybe here. Yeah, we can do like the front. Yeah, the front was done. The front was created with cotton and the cotton created like a um it created like a um kind of like a smoky cloudy effect if that makes sense that's what we did in the front that's how we created that okay so now there's another bird where's the other bird do you see the other bird second bird Yeah, it was with cotton. Um, so what we're talking about, let me pick this up now. So this area here, this was created with cotton. So, Yeah, I have more. I'm just, we can do the same color again. The purple, that was like a purple and white. And when you Google um, like scenes from Stitch, look. Yeah, that's how I had, I had seen how to do it. Um, I mean like, 
I don't really know the texture with to use a paintbrush. I think the cotton will probably be the best way to go. So what do you guys think? Only white or white and purple? The front of the bag has the front of the bag has white and purple. So do we want clouds in the back, like the front of the bag, white and purple? Okay, let me go get more clouds. Okay. Let's see, is signal okay? It says three bars. It says three bars, so I'm hoping it's okay. Let me see if I could see signal. I mean, I see everything. Okay, so I think it's okay. So let's get some white out. I don't think I'm gonna add the, nothing happening, it's running smoothly, okay. Yeah, I don't know if one of you is having signal problems because I see it drop down. But so I've got the white paint. It's very, very, very subtle. Um, I don't know why it's not working too well. I think I need to add some solvent. Yeah, it's not working. I don't know why this is happening. Guys, if you're watching, refresh. I don't know. On my end, it shows it's not working. Guys, I don't know if you can see me, but on my end, it's showing me that, like, the stream, like, is not working. So if you can refresh... I think that might solve it. Okay, now I see it coming back on. It's so weird. So Bryce, I think it's showing you're here now. I think we may... It was showing that the viewer count dropped down to zero even though you're here, basically. So I am not sure what happened. It could be a signal problem, but I'm hoping 
it, it wouldn't have anything to do with the amount of time on. Um, you have the ability to stream um, for many hours. So, um, I don't know, some sort of glitch. Yeah, that's what I was saying. I'm not quite sure. So there may have been some type of signal issue for a second. So maybe he will come back. The other possibility is that he can see it, but we aren't seeing him in chat. We will see what is happening. So I just added in some white texture to the back. I think it's working. Um, I don't wanna like overdo it. It got a little too much over there, but I'm going to now just add in a tiny drop. I don't know. Um, I know that there's a lot of YouTube issues happening supposedly with streaming. I mean, it could also have to do with like, there it is. Yeah, it must have been a signal glitch, guys. It's all good. It could be someone's individual internet too. It may not, it may not even be YouTube. Sometimes YouTube has an issue, but they're really, they're usually pretty good about correcting that, like in a, in a short amount of time. Like, cause like, obviously it's not one person that usually has those issues happen. It's like a lot of people, you know? I don't know. I don't know, guys. I don't know. Let me drop this. So it's not quite the color. I thought this was going to be a drop lighter. Yep, same thing, acrylic paint. And um, I'm just using the cotton like this. So uh, it created more like of a splatter type paint type of look, which doesn't look bad. It's just a little different. I feel like when we did this effect on the front of the bag, it looked more cloud-like. I don't know why. Yeah, I don't want to overdo it for some reason. I don't know why. On the front, I felt like it looked more cloud-like. But it's okay. That'll be it for that. I'm not going to add any more. So this is the back. Yeah, the front came out a bit better, but it's all good, guys. So this is the the back with the leaves. This is like this lime green color here. And then the front, we have the very detailed stitch. So the only thing we are missing, Stitch, yep. Hello, how are you, um, Chris TV? How are you? Welcome on into the stream. So we are missing a drop of detail with his face. We need to add a drop of detail to here. Um... And we need to add in, one of you reminded me, I need to add in like an eyebrow area. And then there's some detail here above the nose that I need to add in. But that shouldn't take long to do. Uh, we could work on his, his nail area, but I'm just going to leave it alone. I feel like I'm going to end up messing up that area. So welcome, Chris. Where are you watching from? 
Welcome, Chris, to the stream. Yeah, you were the one that reminded me. Yep, thank you. Yeah, I, uh, you also reminded me I needed to fix the, um, the area here. Uh, welcome, Chris. Where are you watching from? So we've got stitch painted here on this side of the bag. So we are using acrylic paints, guys, on this bag. And this is just a bag that I bought from a store called Gap. Yep, that's what we need to do. And um, so this is just like a canvas bag. It's not like an art bag. Like I didn't buy it like from an art supply store. It's just like made of like, I guess what's called like a canvas material. So I think the back is pretty dry. What I really need is that the back can allow for me to kind of, so I need to put this down this way now. You know what I mean? In order to fix that, the nose area and I'm hoping it's dry. So if we want, we can just finish off this project today, I think guys. No, oh, my original thought was to use it like a Disney, obviously. I think I always think it's fun to have art type stuff at Disney and my own special stuff there. So we can actually finish off this project today, guys. I'm just going to finish off the detailing here of Stitch. So I'm going to finish um, the mouth right now. So I just finished the mouth area. Um, we've got, you see it here. I'm just doing his eyebrow area. Thank you. Have you seen it before, Bryce? I showed you guys that it's a, it's an animatronic. Have you guys seen it? It's an animatronic. So it moves. So now I'm just painting in uh, it has two marks above the nose. Future technology. Yep. I'm looking at my other stitch I have here of how I draw on the, the marks he has on his nose. And I messed up a tiny drop on it, but I think it's pretty good. Um, let me see. No, I haven't done that yet. I'm going to do that right now. Let me see how the signal is, guys. We're all good. Okay, so. Hmm. 
I mean, we could do a drop of detailing, but I think we're done, guys. I'm going to show it to you in two seconds. I'm just going to wash my hands so that way I don't get paint on anything. But I just did the, the nose part. So I just finished the nose. So I'm just washing my hands real quick. Give me one second while I wash my hands. I just want to be able to not... To not get paint on it. so much for being here I'm just gonna show you guys what we are done for tonight we are actually done with this bag I'm just gonna show you guys really quick what we have created I can show you a recap of it tomorrow when I'm on for a new art project but this is what we created look we did his nose the features above his face I sharpened uh, I added some more detail to the hand so this is the front Thank you so much. And you guys really helped me out because you reminded me of certain areas. So you reminded me of certain areas that I had to fix with his face. So this is the front, guys. I'll zoom it in for you so you can see. So this is the front. And now, yeah, yeah, for sure, Bryce. We need to finish up the backpack tomorrow. And then finish the uh, the baby Yoda. That needs about a day of a stream, so we could finish that tomorrow. This is the back, guys. So Bryce, you helped out with this because you said that it would look nice with these leaves, and I think it looks very nice. And we have some birds. So this is the back part. So from a distance, guys, this is the front. It is stitch made with acrylic paints. This is the back. And we left the main strap alone so that way we're not, you know, overdoing it with paint. So this is our project, guys. We finished this. Yay! Woohoo! So this is done. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you so much for being here. Good night. So tomorrow, guys, for anyone watching or anyone on replay, Tomorrow, guys, we will be back on tomorrow, and we will be finishing off this project. So tomorrow, we'll see about how we can do all those types of good things in the future, Bryce, for sure. Okay, so we're going to do this one. That's the great thing about YouTube is like it opens up all these doors that you can do different things in the future and, you know, help with different things. So it's a great platform. So tomorrow we're going to finish off this one. We're going to add some detail to Baby Yoda, do some outlining so that it pops the way we made Stitch Pop. Uh, we'll add some more detail to the face. So we will finish off this project tomorrow, and we're going to work on this tomorrow. So we will be back on tomorrow night, guys, at about 6 p.m. 6 p.m. U.S. Eastern Time. So I'm in the United States in Florida, so I'll be on at 6 p.m. U.S. Eastern Time tomorrow. Thank you all so much for being here. Thank you all for your wonderful suggestions. And we made this beautiful bag here. And tomorrow we will be back on. Thank you so much all. Good night, everyone. Good night. Baby Yoda or Stitch, for sure. We will figure out after we finish this, you guys will let me know what our next project should be. So we will figure that out tomorrow. 
Thank you so much, everyone, for being here. Good night, everyone. Good night, all. I'm just checking some things. Good night, all.